a lot of grease or uh, this is uh, silicone? This is RTV to seal the O-rings back into place for the... This doesn't have a gasket, it uses O-rings for seals. O-rings, yeah, Avin root. Yeah. This is to avoid that the O-rings move it. Just to keep them in place. Correct. Always, always, those O-rings should be replaced. They leak too. Yeah. That's water, water, gas, gas. Exhaust, water intake, pressure relief valve discharge. Correct, correct. Pop it back. All right. And then the only thing that seals the exhaust manifold to the bottom of the block is RTV. That's it. That's it. Well, for that reason, the RTV over there is very important. Always, always use uh, original, original seals, original gasket, original rings. Mm -hmm. Basically, because the material. Yeah, because no? they're going to be, because of the material, they need to be harder than regular uh, rubber O-rings. Correct. Uh -huh. Because of the torque that you have to tighten them down to. If not, they get flat and they start to allow it to leak. Uh huh. What about this valve? It's a dowel pin, alignment pin. Ah, uh, it's an alignment pin. That's an alignment. There's one here too. Yeah, other one over there. Mm -hmm. One in diagonal with the other one. Grease, grease on the chaff. Because uh, the chief control in this engine is electronic. That's you, the you, drive you, shaft. E exactly, the drive shaft. Yeah, that way you can get it. That way it comes in and out and you don't have any issues with it. Uh-huh. Yeah, we are ready. like this. Let it go for a second? Yep. No, let it go for a second? Alright, that'll work. Special torque for those uh, bolts. Yeah, I gotta grab the service manual because I don't remember what it is. Yeah. I think it's like 32 foot pounds or something. Uh, it's not 32 or 35. Yeah, it's not a whole lot. This is the second one I put off today. Oh, really? Yeah, I finished the other one that's up front. The same? Uh, yeah, it was a G2, but it was a 200 HO. This mm -hmm. is a 250. Really. This one's got, this is a brand new power head, brand new adapter plate. Yeah, it's, it's brand, brand new. That because uh, the first one was uh, burned, no? No, this no? one um, had multiple issues and it was just easier for warranty to replace all the old power head. Oh yeah. It had a leaking lower crank seal, it needed an engine harness, the flywheel and stator were toast, were all eaten up, mm -hmm. all the magnets were spun out of it. Mm -hmm. It needed an oil manifold, all the cylinder heads ah, were leaking. A lot of issues. Yeah. On the first one, yeah. But those were the first issues that he ever had. He's got like uh -huh. 700 or 800 hours on it. Yeah. And this is uh, basically uh, the warranty replaced the engine. Yeah, warranty is covering all of it. Those are uh, the valves for exhaust and uh, water, no? Uh, one of them is a discharge line from the computer. Oh yeah, for uh, the cooling of the computer. For the cooling, and then the other one, this is the exhaust back pressure. Correct. So it registers the back pressure going back into the computer. Uh -huh, so. uh -huh. This thing even got a new, this is all new too, the whole center section. This is special because it's electronic to uh, a steering and a, and a trim, no? Mm -hmm. That the oil distributor. So. Yeah, now there's no more uh, 
There's these oil tanks sitting over there. There's no more pickup. There's no more pump in the tank anymore because the pump it, it, draws Yeah, the yeah, oil. yeah. It's a new system. Well, new to BRP, old and yeah. old within the industry. Yeah. Mercury's been using that style for 20 years. <laughs> Go figure, they finally figure out how to fix the bugs in them and then they stop producing them. Uh, yeah. It's the same thing they did with the Gen 1s. They figured out all the issues with the Gen 1s, then discontinued them to build these things. Stupid. Yeah. yeah but that's, it's the same with all the manufacturers. 